Matthew Perry's social media account has reportedly been hacked by scammers attempting to solicit fraudulent donation. Fans thought they had clicked on a legitimate link to the Matthew Perry Foundation, a real fund set up in the Friends actor's honor, but were instead redirected to a fraudulent site soliciting donations via cryptocurrency. We have received reports that Matthew's official X page has been hacked and is directing users to a fraudulent site soliciting donations via cryptocurrency, the foundation said in a post on Instagram. Please do not donate to this site or share the fraudulent posts on social media, they said. MatthewPerryFoundation.org is the only website associated with the foundation, and we are only accepting donations through this site. No information about the identity of the fraudsters or the amount of money they have stolen has been made public. Fans of the late Friends actor on Instagram were shocked by the callousness of the criminals behind the hack. This is so sick. Shared it to my story so other people will be aware, one person wrote. People are just awful, another said. That's so terrible that someone would do that. A third wrote, What is wrong with people? The Matthew Perry Foundation was set up after the actor's tragic death on October 28, 2023. He was found floating face down in a jacuzzi by an assistant when she returned to his Los Angeles home after running air, according to his autopsy report. The assistant plunged into the hot tub, pulled him to the stairs, and called 911, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. The coroner ruled in December that Perry died by accidental drowning due to acute ketamine overdose. Ketamine is used to treat depression and can also be taken as a recreational drug. Perry had undergone ketamine infusion therapy for depression and anxiety a week and a half before his death, according to the report. However, the ketamine in his system at the time of his death could not be from that infusion therapy since ketamine's half-life is three to four hours or less, the report said. Other contributing factors to his death included drowning, coronary artery disease, and the effects of buprenorphine, an opioid-like drug used in the treatment of opioid addiction as well as acute and chronic pain, the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner wrote. There was no evidence of alcohol or other drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, heroin, PCP, or fentanyl in the actor's system. Perry had battled drug and alcohol addiction for years, revealing intimate details about his struggles in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. When I die, I want helping others to be the first thing that's mentioned, Perry is quoted as saying on the Foundation's website. Addiction is far too powerful for anyone to defeat alone. But together, one day at a time, we can beat it down. Perry starred in the timeless sitcom Friends for 10 years as it aired from 1994 to 2004. The comedian's friends insisted that he was clean and sober in the final years of his life, and he was known for being active at his home in the Palisade.